Welcome class sa second part ng ating lesson number 3. Today we will talk about the properties of minerals. Let's start with the first property of minerals, which is color. So ang color ang pinakauna mong maobserve ang property sa isang mineral. However, it is the least useful in identifying any minerals. Why? Because there is some minerals na iisa ang chemical composition pero magkakaiba ng kulay. One example is quartz. As you can see here in this picture, may kita po natin yung iba't ibang klase ng quartz. They are all quartz pero magkakaiba sila ng kulay. This is the reason why color is not reliable in identifying minerals. Next problem is a streak. So streak is the color of a mineral after it has been ground to a fine powder. So for us to test the streak of a mineral, we will be needing to have a streak plate. A streak plate is just a white ceramic plate wherein you will try to strike the mineral to it, parang ipang susulat mo yung mineral, and then you will check if there will be a difference with the color and the streak of the mineral. property is luster. So luster is described as the appearance of a mineral when light is reflected from its surface. So luster examples of this are first, ito makikita mo kung medyo shiny, it looks like a metal, then we can say it has a metallic luster. Vitreous naman ang luster kapag glassy, para siyang glass. So that's vitreous. Resinous, if it looks like an amber, resinous ang tawag sa kanya. And adamantine naman, kapag shiny siya, katulad ng diamond. Ang pinakamahirap dito will be the identifying or trying to compare if it is or if the mineral has an adamantine luster or kaya naman metallic luster. As I have said to you, you need to be an expert para tama talaga yung pag-identify mo at pagtatest mo ng properties ng minerals. Next is hardness. So hardness naman, um, it is described as the resistance of a mineral to scratching or abrasion by other minerals. With this, we are using the Mohs scale to identify the hardness of a mineral. So we are comparing minerals with different minerals. Then na nakalagay naman sa Mohs scale. So you have 10 minerals in increasing hardness. You have talc, gypsum, calcite, fluorite, apatite, orthoclase, quartz, topaz, corundum, and diamond. So diamond is the hardest mineral in the Mohs scale. And you can also use common objects in doing the hardness test. So you can scratch uh, the mineral by using your fingernail. Kapag na scratch siya ng fingernail mo, then we can say that its hardness is 2.5. And then kapag copper penny or coin lamang yun naka scratch sa kanya, then the hardness is 3.5. Same goes with your knife, steel nail, and a masonry drill bit. Ito yung bar ginagamit sa barena. Cleavage naman is the tendency of a crystal to break along flat planar surfaces. So cleavage could look like this. So pwede na siyang isang sheet lamang. Um, parang yero, Parang ganun. Sheet of metal. So, ang tawag sa cleavage na to is basal. This is mica. Next, so feldspar. With feldspar, you have two flat surfaces or two cleavage. One in here, one in here, and the other in here. In 90 degrees. There. 
Next example is hornblend. In hornblend naman, kanina 90 degrees, dito you'll have an obtuse angle of cleavage. White uh, flat surface here and another flat surface here. With your halite naman, you'll have a cubic cleavage. Bakit cubic? Kasi para siyang cube, 90 degrees in here to here. Relation to this and even to this one. There. So in 90 degrees, it looks like a cube. Then it has a cubic cleavage. With your fluorite, ang tawag dito ay octohedron. Ang kanyang cleavage kasi you'll have a flat surface here and a flat surface here, flat surface there, and sa likod pa. Same thing dito sa baba, so that's another flat surface, flat surface, then sa likod pa. So you'll have eight flat surfaces for fluorite. Ang tawag dyan ay octohedron cleavage. Fracture. Fracture is the tendency of a mineral to break along irregular surfaces. So, kung kanina, cleavage, even surface, this time fracture, uneven or irregular surfaces. Example of fracture na may kita natin sa minerals are this. Example, um, obsidian, as you can see there, ito po mismo yung fracture, this one. Tawag sa fracture niya na parang circular are or is conchoidal fracture. Another example is property is a specific gravity. So, specific gravity is a measurement that determines the density of a mineral. So, commonly, you can do this by just computing the density of the mineral. You'll just need to divide the mass by the volume of the mineral. So, one is reaction with acid. It is useful in identification of carbonate minerals or minerals na merong CO3. So, you'll need to use a diluted hydrochloric acid and drop it in a mineral to check if it will fizz or it will bubble. So, yun. This picture, you can see there the fizzes, the bubble caused as you drop a diluted um, acid. So, this is a calcite. 